hello guys welcome to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to get more fps in pubg mobile so let's get started first we want to start by the game loop version we are going to use game loop this is the official emulator for pubg mobile but we want to download a specific version of game loop just search for game loop 32 bit so after you search for game loop search to it, go to this website you can see here game loop download.com and go to download game loop now scroll down until you see game loop search to it, the latest update and download it just click on it and that will start downloading just like what you do in normal after you install it open it after that open the game loop and install your game pubg mobile after you install the game mark go to this options here and go to settings just make the same settings that i have here disable this option go to run at startup and go to engine select direct x and enable rendering cache and this option and this option just enable these three now go to memory and select select the highest number here don't leave it on automatic just select the highest number and processor leave it to automatic resolution this is the resolution of the of the game loop emulator not the game so just select the same resolution as your game and screen dpi leave it to 240 you can maybe make it less after that go to model select a common model and select this asus rock 2 after that go to game select sd 720p and graphics quality select it to smooth and fps select 90 after that just click on save now open the game and when you see it running like here just right click on it and select this game loop right click and go to properties see the location of this file so go to search and type graphics settings to graphic settings here you will see a list of apps just like this you will find game loop here select it and go to options and make it on high performance click on save this is just the emulator we want to add the game application too so click on browse and go to local disk c as you can see it's set it's installed on c program files tx game assistant c program files tx game assistant After that for in-game settings, just go to settings and go to graphics, make it on smooth and 90 fps and it doesn't matter if you change the color from here, it doesn't matter, just select what you want. Also you need to make sure that you have installed the latest drivers for your PC, how to know your PC specifications and how to install drivers, just go to search and type txdiag and open this app click on no wait for a few seconds now open your browser here you can see all the specifications of your pc here you can see your processor so you can just open your browser and search for the same processor and follow the word drivers just like this and go to the official website if it's intel or md just go to the official website and select the windows version you have i now have windows 11 so click click on it download this and select this amd software adrenaline edition you can also download this but it does the same thing you can try it too if you don't know what is your processor but just download it and the same for intel now to know what is the graphics card you have go to display here you will see the you will see the name of your graphics card here just search for it vega 8 graphics drivers and download the latest version of the drivers from here after that restart your windows and it should be working fine also make sure that you enable the xmb profile in your motherboard press the windows key and r or you can go to search and type run here type temp t-e-m-p click ok click on continue and delete all files in this folder just control a delete after that go to run again the same order but just type this mark before shift 5 on your keyboard and click ok skip after that remove it from your recycle bin after that restart your pc just start again
so now as you can see I'm getting about 50 FPS constant just at the beginning of the game it may be dropping but it's just at first also you can add at least 10 FPS because of I'm um, screen recording right now and it takes a lot of PC specs So guys as you can see the game is working and when I enter a fight it's, it's working fine So guys that was today's video, I Don't hope this is helpful, up. thanks Your for watching and I'll see you guys next time. You.